Life Finance, the world of financial freedom. We have a Monday, April 4th, so let's start with the market forecast. In this episode, we'll mostly talk about commodities prices because that's probably what everyone's most interested in. And most probably, everyone's wondering, is this the end of the petrodollar? So Russia wants to receive payments for oil and gas from hostile countries in rubles and it also wants to save its currency by offering gold at a fixed discounted price. So we will focus mainly on these topics today. Okay, so why is this important to fix a price for gold in rubles? So by offering to buy gold from Russian banks at a fixed price of 5000 rubles per gram, the Bank of Russia paired the ruble with gold. And since gold is priced in US dollars, it set a minimum ruble price in US dollar terms. Uh, this link took effect, let's call it, on Friday, March 25th, when the Bank of Russia announced a set price. So, at the time, the ruble was around $100, but has since strengthened and is approaching $80. Why? Well, since gold was uh, traded in the international markets at around $62 per gram, which in simple maths, uh, when we divide 5,000 5, rubles uh, per $62, we have a result of around 80.5 rubles per dollar. And traders in the markets obviously noticed the arbitrage opportunity that the ruble USD currency per exchange rate is higher. And now, in this new gold ruble peg, if the ruble continues to strengthen, for example, due to demand uh, from the mandatory uh, rubble energy payments, it will also be reflected in the higher gold price. What does this mean for oil? Well, Russia is one of the world's largest exporters of natural gas. Currently, the USA is ahead of them and the third largest exporter of crude oil in the world. We can now see that Putin is demanding that foreign buyers have to pay for this gas in rubles. This immediately ties the price of natural gas to rubles and to the price of gold. So, Russian natural gas is now linked through the rubble to gold. The same can now be done with the Russian oil. If Russia starts demanding rubles payment for oil exports, there will be an immediate indirect link to gold by combining a fixed rubble gold price. So then Russia could start accepting gold directly as payment for oil exports. In fact, it can be applied to any commodity, not just crude oil and natural gas. And in general, this is how the Russian media portrays it. If we want to read something about it, we need a VPN because this media is blocked in Western countries. I don't know what the situation is in Vietnam, so sorry. So coming back to the topic, physical gold is mentioned all the time. So while in the short term, as speculation, the use of arbitration may work, this, it's hard to imagine it working in the long run. What if the price of gold drops? Where will the gold be stored? There are a lot of question marks. In the end, it is gold, which is priced in dollar terms. And that was also the purpose of this measure, which so far can be seen to have worked. Because rubble has, has regained its value from uh, before the attack on Ukraine. However, it is hard to talk about uh, the dethronement of the dollar. Despite its raw materials power, Russia still has a too little market share. Whether it is in case of oil or gas, for it to be of uh, any importance, there would have to be a much greater demand for this currency. Just buying gold at a certain price will not suddenly solve all your problems and permanently tie the rubble to the gold. We have many examples where such practices have not been successful. So overall, it is not a serious threat to the dollar at the moment, but it is also not something to be completely disregarded. So moving on, the good news for the market, for the oil market, comes from the Middle East, where a truce has been officially announced in the conflict in Yemen, which means stable oil supplies. In addition, the announced next barrels of oil will be released onto the market from the strategic reserves of the International Energy Agency. So the situation on the market, despite the turbulence, begins to look relatively stable. When it comes to the calendar compared to the previous week, it looks a bit poorer. And today, in fact, the most important will be the Eurogroup meeting. At the meeting, further sanctions will be discussed. Then on Tuesday, we have a decision on interest rates from Australia, PMI from the Eurozone, from Great Britain and ISM for services from the United States. On Wednesday, IV PMI from Canada, crude oil inventories and minutes from the FOMC meeting. 
On Thursday, the minutes of the ECB meeting declared Inisha unemployed from the US and the speeches of several FOMC members. On Friday, at the end of the week, data from the Canadian labor market. Now moving on to the charts, last week's scenario for oil turned out to be quite perfect. Fundamentally, we should see declines in the medium term, while in the short term, the sideways trend may persist before the releases reserves hit the market. So now it looks like a very good harmonic pattern where we bounced off a 78.6 level and I know that they do not always work but the oil market often likes to play a technical formation and the first attempt on my part will be long at this point with the target at 115 US dollars. And if that fails, I will try again on 88.6. When it comes to the gold, the situation is a bit different. The market has not really gone either way. Now I would still be waiting for this very strong support to break at $1920 if we want to go further down. Plus we have a 50 and a 61.8 cluster here. And if higher, I would like to at least see this orange trendline breakout followed by a resistance breakout at and $1,940. When it comes to Euro USD, the scenario did not work out perfectly, although the direction was uh, correctly defined, but without this retest. And at the moment, we are in this uh, growth channel. I would uh, still count on the strengthening of the Euro, but first, I would like to see a retest of the lower end of the channel. And so, okay, that is about it for today's material. Thanks, and till next one, guys. Take care, bye.